Thank you, Honorable, for speaking to us. Now, for the status for Ugandans who have never heard about the Marriage Bill 2022, what does this particular bill seek to achieve? Laws are made to actually have order in society. And this is what the Marriage Bill really seeks to do. Because we are aware that marriages take place in communities. However, um, we are also aware that most of some of the marriages are not even registered. So we want to have a formal registration of all marriages in the country, but also ensure that marriages take place in an organized way. So people should actually, before they marry, give notice and have these marriages registered at the sub-county level. What is the difference between this particular bill and the marriage and divorce bill, which came up around 2012 or 2013, but unfortunately did not see the light of the day. And why has it remained in the shelves for so long? There were various attempts to actually have the marriage bill in this country. Right from the 60s, by the then member of parliament, the Honorable Kadema. Unfortunately, because of misinformation and, you know, uh, varying interests, those uh, proposals or bills collapsed. So this time we have been a, little careful, been a little careful to ensure that we consult the various stakeholders first before we actually move to have this bill um, tabled in Parliament. And this is why it has taken me close to a year now, consulting the different stakeholders. Let's talk about separation of property once marriage is dissolved. What does the Marriage Bill 2022 say about this particular issue? We don't want to see people you know, separating or divorcing. However, we cannot stop it because it, it actually happens. So there must be, you know, first and foremost, protection of the matrimonial property. This is also in the Succession um, Amendment Act that has been covered. What are your views on divorce and legislation? Mine is the marriage bill. I am not talking about marriage and divorce. Mine is the marriage bill. However, in the event that this marriage cannot go on. The dissolution will occur, and it's not my making. It's even the constitution of the Republic of Uganda. It talks about marriage and the dissolution of that marriage. You say you are done with consultations with cultural leaders, religious leaders, members of parliament, and the civil society organizations. What next? We are going to have a final draft, speaking on a few, some few things that came out today and then seek for a certificate of financial implication. So in the next uh, one or two months, I should be able to present this bill for the first reading in Parliament.